a significant proportion of people in Hammersmith and Fulham, although it is a, a largely working population, are struggling day to day to make ends meet. And that's why we are here today and so busy, I'm afraid. David Cameron, do you know how many food banks there were in this country when you came to power? The sort of people who come here, what they do, how much they earn, what benefits they are entitled to. I'm wondering why my taxes were paying for people to slob out in front of bigger TVs than I'll ever own. I just wonder whether someone watching will think, well, I don't know what set of statistics to believe in. Well, there were 66 when you came to power, there are now 421. In this country, the first enslaved were the working in class, what's changed? Worst jobs, worst conditions, most tax, look where you live and yet you go to the... Last year, Hammersmith and Fulham Food Bank distributed 36,000 meals and one third of recipients were young people aged 16 and under. A lot of our clients are in some kind of paid employment. Uh, they don't, people don't expect people in paid employment to need food banks, but when we're talking about low income, zero hour contracts, People who are in full-time jobs and not able to earn enough money to provide for their families. When we think of food banks, they don't have like the most prestigious reputation. What people usually think when they see benefits in the media is quite negative, sort of. Well, the media likes to put out this phrase, uh, benefits grounders. People with benefits, like they should probably try harder to like get jobs and stuff. They should actually get off their backside and make a living. They're trained on um, you know, people that actually work for their living. All the different stereotypes and stuff has actually like, affected me and I didn't think it was that strong until I um, started the project. The point of the project or the structure of the project was to encourage empathy, to create understanding and to take action. So we decided on three strains of focus. Number one was to set up a food collection. Two was to create a pamphlet, which was to find the key organisations in the area in Hammersmith and Fulham. And the last part is the documentary. A lot of the people in the project are working class or their families on benefits, like my family's on benefits. And it could easily be us in that situation. It really has brought home how important partnership work is. Everyone has different skill sets and everyone has different experiences and every organisation brings something very particular. And what this partnership with the Soul Growth Youth Club offers them it's other projects and other opportunities to go forward into adulthood, into university and those skills that they'll take forward with them for the rest of their lives. In, in projects that you see that, that attempt to address these issues, it's a lot of the time dictated by the members of staff, but this project evidently has not been that, has not been that way. And us all being in different groups, so we're sort of working together as like a mini organisation type of thing. It's not just me, 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 it's not just I, 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 it's, always, it's about other people, it's about giving back to the community. Division doesn't matter and humanity does. This has been like a real learning experience for me. Now knowing like the task we have ahead of us, it's kind of scary and daunting, like we have such a big responsibility. It's a challenge, a challenge I'm really looking forward yeah. to and that I think we can all overcome and you know. Our group's pretty determined so yeah we're gonna beat it, we're gonna do it. <laughs>